Welcome back to the Haw Creek Project. We've had a ton of progress over the last couple weeks. Fixtures, lighting, countertops, all of that is new. Super excited to share the progress. Let's go take a look. The entryway has changed a ton in the last couple of weeks. As you'll see behind me, we've added this huge transom window, which has brought a ton of light in. We recently got all the trim work done on that. We also have our sconce lights installed here. We did have a little mishap with the art lights that'll be on the right, but we've had that corrected and those will be going in in the next couple of weeks. So that's gonna be a big difference as well. Kitchen is really taking shape. We've had a ton of activity in the last couple of weeks here. Our countertops are finally in. Beautiful waterfall edge on the island. The three pendant lights have been installed, which are a real statement for the room. Love the Brizzo faucet. Mixed materials there, really nice touch. Here on the back side, we've got the countertop running up the wall for the backsplash, which is beautiful. Our vent hood is now boxed in. We're just waiting on paint for that. And then of course, the appliances have come in as well. The Fisher & Paykel set is absolutely stunning. I am super excited to use this 36 inch range once that goes in. We've got the 15 inch wine fridge also installed. So there's a lot happening here and I can't wait till this all is wrapped up. In the dining and living space, there's been some really cool changes taking place. We've got our vertical ship lap done on the backside of the island which is a really nice touch and it really blends the room, especially since we now have the vertical ship lap all finished up on the fireplace as well. Love the way that wraps on all three sides. The paint in this space is all completed. It's done throughout the house, minus some touch-ups, um, but it's a really nice light and bright color with the big windows. It makes a really big difference in the room. Most of the electrical is done in the house. We've got all the can lights in. Uh, the couple exceptions are just a few of the final fixtures, namely the beautiful dining room chandelier that'll be going in hopefully in the next week or two. In the primary suite, the noticeable change is this beautiful gold chandelier, which really adds a nice elegant feel to the room. As we move into the primary bath, there's been a lot going on in here. As you can see, most all the tile work is completed. We did make a couple changes, uh, especially with the top walls here, switching over to a full nose finish. The shower heads are both in, love the brushed gold finish. We've got the big rain head coming out of the ceiling. And then our countertops, we've had a little bit of an issue with that. These will be replaced one more time to accommodate the wall mount faucets. The bowls just need to slide back a little bit. So that'll be happening hopefully in the next week or so. And then this space will be almost wrapped up with the exception of the shower glass that needs to go in. Here in the powder bath, we've got the sink and the toilet installed. I'm really excited to share the pendant light with you once that is put in. We've also got a really cool mirror picked out for this space, so it's coming together really nicely. Outside of paint and electrical fixtures upstairs, the biggest changes have taken place with the bathrooms. In the first bedroom ensuite, we've got the plumbing fixtures all installed. I love the way the matte black finish looks with the tile. The countertop is beautiful and this bathroom is really looking nice. Moving into the upstairs guest suite, one thing I'll point out is the Nest smoke detectors. We did want the house to be a full smart home, so we'll have the Nest smoke detectors, thermostats, doorbell, and security cameras. A lot of that stuff will be installed towards the end. We've got this really fun, playful light in this room. Here in the guest suite bathroom, we've got the countertops installed. They look fantastic with the matte black plumbing fixtures. Love the sconce lights that are on both ends of the double vanity. Toilet is obviously in. And of course, this beautiful crayon tile in the shower really pops with the matte black, especially on that charcoal tile. We have finally got the back staircase worked out, I think. <laughs> it's been a bit of a challenge, mainly because of the setback, uh, but basically this roof line has caused the steps to need to push out a little bit, which minimized the overall width. But we've got it figured out. We're gonna get the railings installed this week, and I think it's really gonna come together nicely. 
We've done some light landscaping, main focus being the perimeter landscaping on the house. All the decking is finished on the house. I love the way this all came together. We've got railings going in today. Those will be finished up for both the screen porch and this back deck. Stairs are done, so the outdoor space is really coming together. We've made a ton of progress. We still have a lot of work to do, but hopefully next time you see me on this job site, it's the final video and we're moving in. Stay tuned.